Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Tim, your videos are so awesome. The image quality is so nice. My eyes are so happy to watch your videos. What technology could you possibly be using to bring forth these images to my eyes? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what I'm using. Check this out. It's a Sony FDRX 3000 4K camera. It's a key feature is that the lens is optically stabilized. That means it's on springs to um, absorb all the motion. It has a great uh, microphone set up in it, and I've added this little windsock on it. Just so when you're outside, it takes away that, you know, buffeting sound of the wind. So here we go. And it actually has a port in here to take an external mic if you want to, but um, unless you're doing like a wireless thing and you're, you know, shooting a video of yourself from far away, I tried like a $100, um, was it Sennhauser mic? And did back-to-back -back video comparisons and it wasn't any better than the built-in thing so I think it's just an advantage that it has over a GoPro uh, versus you know so the new GoPros are all uh, waterproof well this isn't waterproof but I think it allows the microphone to be a lot better I'm not really sure on that part of the technology but it just works man so another cool thing is it's got this nice uh, little screen here and it's remote so you can pop this guy off and take it with you you can wear it on your watch uh, so if you're setting up a shot from far away and want to know what's happening, then that's a good feature to have also. works better than the GoPro app with your phone because I think with that system, it kills your GoPro batteries really quickly. But this battery life isn't too bad. So it's this little handheld deal, right? And then, boom, selfie mode. Hey, YouTube, what's up, guys? Like and subscribe. So that's what's all with that thing. And then... Um, if I happen to be wanting to take like a more, um, if I'm going to move it around a lot and take better quality, I can use my gimbal. Fiutech G6, I think is the model. So I've added this uh, tripod stand, and this is another one of the mounts that came with the camera for this little screen here. And you just pop them in, and then you have a screen on your gimbal. And then I added this little mount. That's how he was mounted in there. I came up with that all on my own. And so anyway, this uh, gimbal is set up for a uh, Micro Four Thirds camera, so it's bigger than their action camera gimbal. I thought maybe I would upgrade if I wasn't too happy with the um, images from this, but uh, this is more than I need. I mean, I'm so happy with this thing. And I think the number one thing, if you're looking for the camera setup, is get something that's light and easy to carry around and you're going to use, because the more you use it, the more video you're going to get. So that's what... Carrying this thing around, I mean, it produces awesome quality, smooth, smooth pictures, but it's heavy, so you don't want to carry it around for a long time. So if you're on vacation and you're walking around a really nice city or something, you want to take stuff, your arm's going to be tired by the end of the day, where this thing, one, you can just put it in your pocket when you're done. This, you can't really do it, so you need a backpack or something, or you just carry it around all day and... Um, yeah, this this definitely gets a lot more attention as far as like looks. Everyone be like, what the heck is this guy doing? Where something like this, you're kind of used to seeing. It's not that big of a deal. So something else to consider. But yeah, Sony FDRX3000, that's what I'm using. And uh, it's working out great.